And you know what? I don't even care because this is my channel and I can do what I want. So deal with it. Honestly, I haven't really read that many books featuring LGBTQ plus characters. So these are the ones that I remembered on my shelf that I know for a fact had LGBTQ characters. And they were more like present in the story. It wasn't like side characters. So that's why I chose these ones. But if you have any recommendations, then please let me know because I want to read more. It's Jay and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. So I'll leave both their links down below as well as the link to the Goodreads group if you want to check out the topics and such. Today's topic for Top 5 Wednesday is your favorite LGBTQ plus books or LGBTQ plus authors. So I have a total of six books because I'm a cheater. So without further ado, let us get started. My first book is Half Bad by Sally Green. This features a gay couple. And I'm totally going to tell you who it is. I'm sorry I'm spoiling if you haven't read the book. So like if you haven't read this book, plug your ears. But Nathan and Gabriel. Oh my god, they are the cutest thing in the entire world. I don't even care what anybody says. I ship them so dang hard. And I'm so Still not over, one of the character deaths, that happens at the end of the third book. That is also a spoiler, but like, Sally Green, I'm, I'm calling your butt out because like, not cool killing off the gay character, Sally Green, not cool. My second book is The Immortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. This has the lovely baby angel unicorn who is Magnus Bane. I love him so much. He's bisexual, I'm pretty sure. And just, he makes me so happy. I think he is so sweet. He's just, he's so in tune with himself and he just knows who he is and that makes me happy. My third book is Golden Boy by Abigail Tartelin and this is about a intersex boy. It's such a beautiful story. Honestly, I think it is so underhyped. I think more people need to read it. I think it's so good. I think it's really good at giving people knowledge on intersex without like being in your face about it. The author does such a good job with explaining things and it's done in a way that also is helping Max, the main character. So it's very informative and just a really great read overall. And also Max is so sweet, so love me some Max. My fourth book has a lesbian couple in it and it is Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I'm so excited for the second book radio to come out very soon, like it's already out now. But I haven't got my copy yet, but when I do, you know your girl gonna read it right away. But this has a lesbian couple. Their name is Evie and Iris, and they are literally the cutest thing in the entire world. They make me so happy. They make my heart happy. They are so adorable. They're like such little balls of sunshine all the time, and it just makes me a very happy girl. So, awesome book, and awesome characters as well. My fifth book is like a double whammy because the author is also gay. But it is Adam Silvera's More Happy Than Not. This features a gay character. This was my first Adam Silvera book. It's the only Adam Silvera book I've read. I really want to pick up The History Is All You Left Me. But I think his writing is so well done and just, it really hooks you right from the beginning. So if you haven't read More Happy Than Not, which I'm sure you have, I highly recommend this book. My sixth and final book, because I'm a cheater and deal with it, is Everything That Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This features a lesbian couple, and I just really thought it was a cute book. This was my first Nina LaCour book, and everybody was saying how good her books are. So I was like, okay, I need to pick it up. And I found it at a thrift store, and I like freaked out. And it was more than I expected. I didn't think I would like it that much, because I usually don't like books that other people like. So I was pleasantly surprised with this. Alright guys, so that was my top five Wednesday for this week. If you have any like suggestions on awesome LGBTQ plus books, leave them down below because I'm like just getting into them and I don't really have that many on my shelf. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!